Hello. Welcome to another episode of Learn with SciTech. If you want to reuse a figure, table, or illustration from a previously published paper in your work, you must obtain permission from the publishers. Today, we'll look at how to do that. So let's get started. Suppose from this paper from Elsevier Publishing House, you wish to reproduce figure 1 and figure 4. For this, click on Get Rights and Content link. A Copyright Clearance Center Rights link page will open. Here log in with your credentials. If you don't have an account, you must create it using Create Account button. Now select how you intend to reuse this content. For journals, select Reuse in a journal or magazine. For thesis, select Reuse in a thesis or dissertation. Then set the requester type to academic or educational institute. Select the publisher where you intend to publish the manuscript. For instance, American Chemical Society, RSC, Wiley, Elsevier, and others. Now choose which part of the published content you intend to include in your work. For tables and figures, select tables or figures or illustrations option. Then, add the number of tables, figures, or illustrations from the published content you intend to use in your work. This should be an integer value. We will put 2 here as we want to reuse 2 figures, that is, figure 1 and 4. Set my format as, both print and electronic. Then choose whether or not you are the author of the content. If you are author, select yes, otherwise select no. Now choose whether or not you will be translating this content into other languages. Choose your currency from the options in the drop-down menu. If your currency option not available, choose default USD. Then, click on quick price button. Mostly, reusing up to three figures is free. For more than that, you have to pay. Then, click on Continue button. On this page, you need to select your work among the list. In case your work is not registered, click on New Work button. Here, add the details of your work, including title, lead author, target journal, and expected date of publication. Lead author is the first author of your manuscript. When it comes to the expected date, Always include a grace period of two to three months from the date, permission is taken. Then, click on continue button. On this page, provide the description of contents you want to reuse. In our case, we would add figure 1 and figure 4. Then, click on continue button. Here recheck all the details, agree to their policies, terms, and conditions. Then, click Accept button. You can even save your license to reuse the content as PDF file for your records. In some open access papers from Elsevier publishers, obtaining permissions may not be necessary. Now let's look at where you can find this permission link in case of other publishers. For Wiley, go to Tools, then Request Permission. For Springer, select Reprints and Permissions link. For ACS, select Reprints and Permissions link. For RSC, 
Select Request Permissions link. Don't forget to attribute the published article and publisher wherever needed. Thank you, and all the best.